What is freedom to you? Around 750 National Guard members and around 250 state police troopers. 11 o'clock, terrifying new video of passengers on a subway in Brooklyn, frightened for their lives as two men fight and one of them shoots the other in the head. Mission cameras that are able to instantly put a face to a name. Part of the question is whether all Americans are to be afforded equal rights and equal opportunities. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi. Hot fire! Just fire! So I've been trying really hard to understand the difference between the American type of freedom and the China type of freedom. Ages of military operations to disarm Iraq, to free its people, and to defend the world from grave danger. Now, many people say that the land of the free is America, while the land of no freedom is China. But is that really a true statement? Now, Willenials, this is what's happening currently in the New York City subway. Random bag searches at some of the city's busiest subway stations. The National Guard will be checking bags after a rash of violent assaults on the nation's largest train system. So as you can see, they had to deploy the National Guard to the New York City subway for the safety of the citizens. But again, if that was in China, many people would say China is a dystopian society with no freedom and everyone is controlled and they have to use the army to control everyone. But then is that really the case? So we should ask ourselves this, has China just been trying to keep its people safe just like the US is doing right now in the New York City subway? Now, Willenios, in the United States, you're free to shoot and kill anyone who steps on your property. Here in China, well, not as much. I guess you don't have the freedom to kill someone that way. So I believe people do have a point when they say there's freedom in America as compared to freedom in China. There's even another freedom incident that happened on January 6, 2021 in Washington, USA, where more than 2,000 rioters entered the Capitol in Washington with many vandalizing and looting, including the offices of the then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other Congress members. These rioters assaulted Capitol Police officers and reporters and of course even attempted to capture and harm most of them. Many people lost their lives that day as a result of this incident and many others even committed suicide in the months that followed. Now, is that freedom? Well, it might be freedom to you, but probably not to those who died that day. May their souls rest in peace. It's so sad. We all want a better world for everyone. But then, millennials, let's all ask ourselves this question. What is freedom to you? Would you consider freedom in America to be the same as freedom in China or the same as freedom in Europe or in Africa or across Asia? Are all these freedoms the same? Does the Asian culture require American types of freedom? Now guys, the truth is that all the laws and decisions that our governments might make may not sit right with everyone in our society. But then the reasons for these laws and the ways that we react should matter. Because at the end of the day, shouldn't freedom be to protect ourselves and our neighbors? So many people have this misconception that their way of freedom is the best kind of freedom. But is that really true? This is quite similar to the fundamentals of many religions around the world where people now use religion to say their own type of religion is the best and is the only way to heaven. But is that really true? I believe every religion is just trying to preach peace, harmony and safety between everyone. Because at the end of the day, without all of this, freedom is just a word. Now the question we should ask ourselves is this, which of these freedoms can lead to a more happy life, of course, a more happy and stable life for the citizens of every country. I've seen videos where some black Americans are even scared to call the police just because they feel like they might be misunderstood and maybe even shot, which is really sad when you think about it because I believe that everybody should be able to call the police when they are in distress. But during my time here in China, I've realized that so many of the citizens here in China work with the police for general safety and freedom of everyone. And that right there is the kind of society that we all need. Now, I recently asked 
a couple of you guys in the community tab on your own points of view about freedom and of course some of you all amazing subscribers did respond to your own points of view on what freedom really is to you someone said freedom is where your family life is not threatened when you step out of your home tamad b said to me freedom means i can go anywhere i want anytime i want I can go out at night without fear of being robbed or having to deal with druggies or gangs. Now the next one. For me, freedom is to be able to live safely. By safely, I mean I can and able to go anywhere and any time of the day and night without having to worry about my safety. Now there's so much more you guys actually dropped so many different freedom definitions from your own points of view feel free to check out more comments about freedom in the community tab on this channel now from these definitions of freedom you can see that freedom varies and most of the people were stressing on the point of safety now let's ask ourselves this question is there real freedom in the west these days despite popular opinions there are many things that we can't say in western countries openly it's sad but true some people get cancelled for saying things that the majority or the government does not agree with. Some people lose brand deals for saying things that they feel is right. So do we call that freedom? So I believe we can't really say that we have complete freedom of speech in the West, especially when you say something that doesn't match the narrative that everyone believes should be that way. Now, despite multiple claims that the Chinese are not free, I've been living here in China for about six years and I recently made a trip through Xinjiang, Chengdu, Chongqing, Yunnan and of course Shanghai alongside a couple of other places here in China and the number of Chinese stories that I saw traveling and enjoying their own country 24-7 was astounding and i even believe china might be the most tourist friendly country in the world because traveling around china i felt extremely safe and free to film my vlogs and do whatever i wanted to do wherever i went i believe that in terms of travel freedom traveling in china is relatively convenient and safe for everyone male or female now the funniest fact is that chinese tourists do not only travel here in china but they even travel out of China to many different countries. Now, if there was no freedom in China and everyone was controlled or everyone was limited to travel, do you think many Chinese would travel the world this way? So I would say, I believe Chinese even understand more about freedom and traveling around the world than most Westerners who haven't even left their home countries to experience other cultures around the world. Now, people talk about freedom of gun ownership in america for example many americans say they need to protect their second amendment rights despite multiple school shootings multiple more shootings many people being killed in the streets they still say they have the right to carry guns they have the right to carry automatic rifles firearms to protect themselves but then ask yourself this question how free are the kids who have died in schools due to gun violence how free are the families who have lost their kids, their family members in all the multiple shootings in the US? We should understand that sometimes there are many more shootings in a year than the number of days in a year. I believe safety is a priority that leads to freedom. Here in China, during my years here, I haven't even had an experience with gun violence or even heard of gun violence. It's strange, but then that is freedom for you. Right here, you can't hear someone being scared of going out at night because they think they might get shot for one reason or the other. Just the road rage, people lose their lives. You just step on your neighbor's property, you get shot. You go to a mall, you can get shot. You go to the subway, you get shot. But yet, people still say they have the freedom to carry guns. It's really sad because people who have left this war through those guns can't fight for their freedom right now i just hope someday more people can realize the types of freedom that we need because freedom is not just about you and the funniest part about it all is that some people even said due to the shootings happening in the schools in america they should arm the teachers with more guns how can guns solve guns 
Imagine you give a teacher a gun and one of the students gets the gun and of course causes harm to everyone in the school. It's really not safe. Now, those are the kind of laws that we need to look at because those aspects will not give us any freedom because we will not be safe when there are more guns in the streets and that will lead to limited freedom for us. So despite multiple shootings year in, year out in America, I don't understand the reason why guns are still not controlled. Of course, people will say cars still harm people, knives still harm people. But the truth is that guns kill more people in a shorter time frame than knives, than cars and many other weapons around the world. Now, on the other hand, here in China, everyone is really safe because you do not need a firearm. So you don't need protection from a firearm. Now, the next is the freedom to riot and attack. Let's take, for example, the January 2021 at the US Capitol was a demonstration of American freedom, as I can say. We all know how that ended. Many people lost their lives and of course many families are still grieving right up until today. Was that really freedom? Again, the freedom to loot stores. Recently, there have been many rampant looting all around the US and in many countries around the world. People run into stores and carry out whatever they want to carry and just run off and it's so hard because people who own businesses just tend to lose everything so i'm guessing that's freedom right is that the kind of freedom that we really want some people say they want freedom from the street cameras like here in china there are many street cameras china isn't free because no matter where you go there are street cameras that will see you and all your life is being monitored yes there are many street cameras here in china and i believe that's one of the reasons why China is very safe for everyone all the time. But then we shouldn't forget that the UK also boasts of a huge number of street cameras, just like many countries around the world. And now in the US, there are also some street cameras, although not as many as here in China. Now, when people go to court, they sometimes subpoena or ask for the street cameras to be made available to them to be able to get themselves free or to catch criminals using the few cameras that are found in the US. So is it really a bad idea to use cameras to catch criminals? Because personally, I believe these cameras are just to keep every good citizen safe. And you do not have to worry about walking around and looking over your shoulder. And of course, I guess that's the reason why here in China, you can see families, mom, dad, kids, strolling around at 1 a.m. without having to look over their shoulders or having fear for their lives. That's because they know they are safe and criminals just can't have the freedom to commit crime and cause harm to anyone. So that's why so many people come here, they move around freely and they have nothing to worry about. Now this is a very important one, freedom to speak out against your government and the government policies. Now so many people say every time, you can't speak against the government in China, you can't say bad things about the government in China. If you think you're very free, go to the streets and shout, oh I hate the Chinese government, oh, oh I hate what the government is doing, I hate this. <laughs> but then the truth is that millennials, we need to understand that here in China people do complain about government policies a lot. It happens a lot, especially on the Chinese social media. And of course, they hold the authorities accountable. I've seen it multiple times and these authorities actually listen. The government workers actually listen to the people. They read all the comments. For example, if some development projects were not carried out or there were some disasters that were not handled properly in a local area here in China, the citizens will take to the official website of that government agency and share their points of view and complain about that problem. Now, if that is not handled, decisions will be taken immediately. And that's one good thing about the system that I've noticed right here in China. Of course, not every aspect might be perfect, but then people do talk against the government. They speak out about what can make the society much better and all the situations get handled properly without anyone getting harmed or killed due to the free citizens trying to pass their messages across. And of course, millennials, like I said, this particular aspect of speaking out against the government is a huge difference between the Asian culture in general or the Chinese culture in particular and the Western culture. Now, the next that so many people say is about voting freedom. Some people say that in China, you have no right to vote. 
while in other countries you have the right to vote now. In America and many other countries around the world, the political parties in charge actually choose the people that should be voted for. For example, if Trump runs this year, it will be the same like in 2020 when Donald Trump ran against Biden for the presidential election. Now, I remember back in 2020 when Donald Trump and Joe Biden were running for president, there were so many people who said, oh, I don't want any of these two candidates. None of them are perfect for me. That's because they were chosen by the political party. And in this situation, members of the public only vote for their local members of parliament or district representatives who then go to the house and from there the party which the members belong to will then choose or elect their leader who will represent them in the presidential elections. And we should understand that every culture and every society has different ways to manage their rules, their laws. So one system that is used in one country shouldn't be obligatory in another country. I personally feel like what we should focus more on is the benefits that the citizens get due to that political system. Is the system working? Does it help the people? Does it help develop the whole society? Does it help develop the country in general? That's what we should be asking ourselves. So at the end of the day, the final decision still remains with those at the top in most of these countries. Every country has their own system of choosing their leader. Now, millennials, when you compare China today, for example, to China 30, 40, 50 years ago, you realize that their system has in fact been working really well for their country and of course for their citizens because more people recently live a good and happy life as compared to decades ago especially after over 800 million people were lifted out of poverty here in china of course there are still poor people poor areas villages that need more development here in china but when you look at how far they've come that's really astonishing now try to ask yourself if china isn't free why do you think many foreigners stay here in china for like 5 10 15 20 30 years wouldn't they just run away when they discover it's not good many chinese abroad still come back home every holiday to spend time with their family and have fun that's because there is real freedom and safety here in china it might sound strange to you but so many people feel very free here in china and at the end of the day we'll us freedom is relative we all deserve to be free when laws are made that can harm your neighbor or cause you to lose your life then what kind of freedom will you really have the truth is that china isn't perfect no country is perfect of course i just hope that everywhere in the world everyone can live freely live happily and just improve their lives it doesn't matter whether you live in the united states in the uk across europe in africa australia south america our aim on this channel is just to share the truth again i have to say china is nowhere near perfect there are things that need to be fixed just like in every country our governments need to fix up our countries my own country needs to be fixed so if i'm making these videos it's from my own personal experiences and someone might have a different experience from myself but at the end of the day i believe we all want the same thing we all want to be happy we all want safety for ourselves and our families our kids of course we all want to be able to provide for ourselves provide for our families but when we can't achieve all of this when you can't even go out at night freely from 7 8 9 10 p.m and have fun doesn't mean we only have to enjoy our lives during the day it's quite sad but i really hope that we can put all our differences aside and see the world differently it doesn't matter where you live i believe that if i live in the u.s today if i live across any country in europe today what i want in life will still be the same just peace calm happiness safety that's what we all want all around the world and i hope everyone everywhere can achieve this safety this peace and this freedom at the end of the day guys we all have to keep our fingers crossed and keep hoping for the best well that change begins with you and i well thank you so much for watching this video and if you want to see more amazing videos like this don't forget to like this video share the video and subscribe to this channel for more weekly amazing videos like this remember this is Willen. see you next time